making me hungry. On this series, I'm taking you to the tiger capital of the world. Located in the heart of incredible India, this is Bandhavgarh National Park. It was once a hunting reserve for the royalty who hunted hundreds of tigers from elephant backs. But in 1968, Bandavgarh was declared a national park and since then, the tiger population has rebounded. And now, this is truly the land of the tiger. Bandavgarh is spread across 1,600 square kilometers of prime tiger habitat. You've got thick forests with rolling hills and grasslands and a large quantity of prey animals, including 25 species of mammals and nearly 300 species of birds. While it's easy to spot the common inhabitants of Bandavgarh, tigers are incredibly elusive. They have the perfect camouflage which allows them to disappear right in front of your eyes. That's why I've teamed up with Gudda and Rajesh who are expert trackers. Together we look for signs of big cat activity. We've just been driving around for a little bit and finally we've just found some pug marks. And as you can see, these are very fresh. And the reason I say that is because the edges, if you look closer, are completely refined, especially over here. And if you can look at this pug mark as well, you see the edges are so refined. And these pug marks are on top of a vehicle track because you can see here there's some vehicle tracks and another vehicle hasn't come through here yet and taking a closer look at them uh, they're really large so I reckon this is a male tiger not a female tiger because with females the pug marks are really elongated um, and not as square as this one right here maybe the tiger walked here 30 minutes to an hour Usually what would happen is if as the pug marks gets older and older the wind would blow the sand over and the sand would just get deposited on the pug marks and the edges kind of get erased but this one the edges are really sharp and really really prominent uh, so the tire can be somewhere nearby so with that it's time for us to get back on the vehicle and fingers crossed let's hope we get some tiger. While trying to find tigers, it is very important to read the forest. So we look for alarm calls of animals such as the cheetal deer. Anytime a deer sees a big cat, it alerts other animals in the forest. And once you've found some signs of big cat activity, it's time for you to wait. Finding tigers is all about patience. So you wait. You wait. And wait. And keep waiting. 
until Look how close we are to this male tiger. He's so close that my long lens cannot even focus. Thank God for smartphones. This tiger is marking his territory. A spray mark to let other tigers know who he is. And a good old scat mark to warn them not to mess with him. Tigers are highly solitary animals, so in order to ensure that others do not encroach on their home range, they have to cover a large amount of ground every single day and mark it as their own. While territories of a female range between 15 and 40 square kilometers, a male tiger's home range can be over 100 square kilometers. That's a lot of ground to cover, so with that in mind, he's gone as soon as he came. As we head back, something catches our eye. Stay tuned for the next episode to find out exactly what that is. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching that episode. This is a multiple part series, so be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you next week. And until then, goodbye.